Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and today I'm going to give you guys a home tour of the home that we sold back in March. I did film this on the very last day that we were there. This was actually like moments before we left the house for good. Jeff and I, Jeff is my hubby, we did a lot of work in this house doing renovations and this was the final product before we move on and build our next home. So I'm going to get started in the front entryway here. As you can see, there is a balcony above. Those are black railings and that is the walkway that you walk through. You go upstairs and walk to the bedrooms. So this is the great room. It is absolutely stunning. I love the windows in here. It is so bright and so beautiful and the view is just amazing. I am going to miss it so much. This thing, right here that view is just priceless i love it and i'm going to cherish that view forever i still remember when we moved out here holding the ladder for jeff as he painted this room it was so high and it was just nerve-wracking but we finally got it done this room also features a wood-burning fireplace, which is so nice on those cold, chilly evenings. Over here is the bar area, which we actually used for an office just because that's what worked for us. But it is actually used for a bar, which is really neat because you can actually pop that window open right there. And if you have people outside, you can hand drinks out there. It's really neat. And this area right here is the dining room. This is where we had our big kitchen table and chairs. And over here, you can see the kitchen. And the kitchen is so big and so roomy. Our rental home right now is so much smaller than this kitchen, so it's a huge adjustment learning to cook in a tiny little kitchen as opposed to all of the space I had in here. Over here is the pantry this pantry is just like pretty basic it's got I think like four or five shelves on it that's where we put all of our food and yeah that's it and then through this door is the laundry room so this laundry room Jeffrey did it I absolutely love it the pattern on the floor he did like a herringbone tile pattern and we put the tiles up the wall and then we used a blue paint on the upper areas of the wall. This bedroom is just off the laundry room. It is a nice big room with really high ceilings. I believe the ceilings are 10 feet in here and it's got a little ensuite. It is just the perfect little guest room area because it is on the main floor. So the owners of the house can all stay upstairs and then if you have guests, they can stay in this room because it has its own bathroom too. So this is a cute little bedroom area for guests, that's for sure. And over here is the bathroom. It is pretty basic, nothing too special. You've got your sink, vanity. We replaced that light in there. We also put in a new toilet. And then there's just the walk-in shower here. Now over here through the kitchen is the family room. Off the family room there is another door with a little deck where you can go outside and access the yard. Our neighbors also have a gorgeous home over there. 
There's a fireplace in the corner there. The windows are stunning and there's another door heading out onto the deck. The deck is huge so you need a couple of doors to access it from different areas of the home and then again the view outside onto the lake. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys the powder room. If you remember last summer when I posted videos, I posted us renovating this powder room. We redid the floors, we repainted, the vanity was still good, and I believe we also put in a new toilet, I can't remember. But I love the color in that powder room. I may actually use it again in the new house. And then over here, this is just storage and the electrical panel and stuff like that. Really nothing too pretty to look at, but um, lots of storage under the stairs there. So we're going to head upstairs now. As you can see, we're heading up the stairs. There's glass blocks all in here, which allows a lot of light to come in, which is super nice. And it also gives you some privacy because that's the side that faces the road. Anyways, we're coming up the stairs and this room, I actually used it as a storage room, but it can be used as a little office. Um, the color, I, I just never had to paint it because the paint was actually not bad in there, but if we were going to stay in the house, I probably would have repainted it a different color. So going down the walkway here, you can see the view is just absolutely gorgeous. Every time I came up the stairs and walked through that balcony, I just would stare outside. No matter if it was cloudy or sunny, the view was always gorgeous. Jeff and the kids are outside waiting for me to finish filming this video. I shoot them outside because I already swept and mopped everything and I didn't want them to get any footprints anywhere because everything is nice and clean and tidy for the new owners. Right, so into the master suite I have shown this suite many times in my previous videos but if you haven't seen them before this is the master suite there is a balcony to the left of me which I'll show you in a second the bed went in between those two mirrors and this balcony like again the views are just stunning views in this home were stunning basically anywhere you looked so that is one thing that the new owners I'm sure are going to enjoy We have the master closet it is all cleaned out plenty of storage space for whoever is going to be living here I love having a big closet like this and in our rental home where we are right now we have had to downsize our clothing so much actually like as we speak as I'm as I am doing this voiceover I'm 
in my room looking at all of the clothes that I still have to put away. I'm basically going to have to pack a lot of it away because I just don't have the room in this place. I'll just have to save it for the new house. So coats and stuff like that that I don't use often, that is all going to have to get packed away. And over here we have the master bathroom. Lots of room, lots of storage space. Again, I'm going to miss the views in here too. heading down the hallway now this is where the other bedrooms are so we've got a bedroom in here it's pretty basic I do love the color in here it is just such a light and airy color the flooring also like I just love the color of the flooring I never got sick of it it's just really beautiful and those of you who are wondering it is luxury vinyl plank flooring super durable and waterproof out this window you can see our neighbor's house and their garage they have such a big garage it is really really neat because they have all sorts of like cool toys and stuff like that um, my kids would always look over there and admire what they had and here is another bedroom again it's pretty basic really nothing too exciting in here it's just a basic bedroom with some blue paint and again the same flooring. The closets in this house all are nice and roomy. Every bedroom has a decent sized closet which is really nice. And out this bedroom window you can see into the front yard, the boys are out there playing while I'm finishing up this video. Over here we have the main bathroom upstairs lots of room in here we've got a walk-in shower a jacuzzi tub and two sinks so we actually put in that new shower because the other one was starting to yellow a little bit so we put a nice new one in there and yeah we just cleaned everything up everything looks great and again this view out here is out the front of the house and the kids look like they're fighting <laughs> And here is the last bedroom in the house. So altogether we have five bedrooms in this house. So lots of room for a big family or a family with a lot of extended family that comes to visit. Alright, so now we are going to head downstairs and I guess I will head outside and just kind of show you guys around the outside of the house before we wrap up this home tour. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so this is my final time coming down the stairs. It is definitely bittersweet. I'm a little bit sad to leave, but I'm also excited for what the future holds and for our new adventures. So I'm going to head outside right now and just show you guys what our yard looks like. So down here, this is the beach area. The snow and the ice just melted, so it took a little bit of the sod down from the grass onto the beach. That's just something that happens sometimes when you don't have stone break wall there, so um, that'll just have to be fixed up. But other than that, there's lots of sand this year. Sometimes the water level comes up much higher. It's just kind of unpredictable, but lots of nice sandy beach to play on. Alright guys, so that's it. You've seen basically everything there is to see about this house. I'm definitely going to miss all the memories we made here, but I won't lie, it's been a really tough two years. Lots of stress and just, oh, it's been a wild emotional ride, that's for sure. Lots has happened in the past two years, selling our home, moving into here, renovating it, losing my mom, my dad getting really sick, so I'm kind of happy to say goodbye to it because I'm just ready to move on to a new chapter in our lives and start building our new home. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. It is time to round up the gang and move on Life to the next part of our lives. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys subscribe so you guys don't miss any of those upcoming videos of us building our new home. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.